This R. Askredit user asks. What popular food do you find disgusting? Oysters. I find its look, taste, smell and especially its consistency to be very unappetizing. I even tried fried oysters but could barely get through one bite. As someone who loves oysters surrounded by people who hate them. I was under the impression that it wasn't a popular food. I feel like some of y'all just grew up with bad cooking. For whatever reason I've just never been into anything jello related or gelatin related due to the texture. The same for flan for that reason. Lobster and I live in Nova Scotia. Where it's very popular. To me. It's like eating a giant insect. It is. But it still tastes amazing. I simultaneously crave seafood and am disgusted by it. You always know when you're full. Because the disgust wins out. I've heard it called the cockroach of the sea so. You're not wrong. Most sweets. I hate the taste of overly sugary things. Can't even get margaritas at a lot of places because they apparently use the whole FN bottle of triple sec per marg. Once I got acquired to black coffee my appetite for a lot of candy went out the window. I'll still have soda once in a while but a lot of super sugary stuff no longer has much of an appeal to me. Except dark chocolate. And Reese's. Chocolate goes well with coffee. Even dark chocolate. As its sweetness gets brought out by the coffee. A lot of bars use the premixed ST that olvides about a gallon of corn syrup. I was at a wedding a while back and the old fashions tasted like Gatorade. Fat-free yogurt. It tastes so bland and artificial. I think I don't like coleslaw. But then again. It's been a few years since I've sunk my teeth into that monstrosity. I'll try it again. But no promises there. I love coleslaw. But I once went to a place that served slaw that was. As far as I could tell. Nothing but shredded cabbage and mayonnaise. Disgusting. It has to be properly made. Gagging just thinking about it. Coleslaw covers a huge range of foods that can be very different. You've got your vinegar-based coleslaw. Your mayo-based coleslaw. Your buttermilk-based coleslaw. And even your sour cream-based coleslaw. Some are tart and salty. Almost pickled. Others are very sweet. Some use just shredded cabbage. Others use a whole boatload of vegetables. They can use all kinds of different herbs and spices. I can definitely understand not liking a crappy, watery, oversweet, mayo-based coleslaw. But don't let it turn you off from the wonderful wide world of slaw. I live in the south. So when I say I hate okra it is like I threw a flash grenade into a room of newborns. It tastes like rotten teeth. I get the same with potato salad. How do you know what rotten teeth tastes like? A kiss. Olives. They taste like earwax. Before you ask. How do you know what that tastes like? 1. It was an accident and 2. I was a little child. Cottage cheese. Had a traumatic experience as a child where my dad asked if I wanted some yogurt. Spoiler. It wasn't yogurt. To this day I refuse to eat yogurt and gag at the sight of cottage cheese. Many people around me seem to like tomato soup. But I find it absolutely disgusting. But I don't know. Maybe just my mom doesn't make it well. I didn't like steak growing up because of how my mom made it. Perhaps try it elsewhere. Or not. Whatever. Had the same situation. I hated steak as a kid. Could never understand why people made such a big fuss about it. Or why they would cost so much money in restaurants. Turns out the only way my dad knew how to grill a steak was well done. Once I was an adult and tried my first steak that wasn't overcooked into dried out jerky I changed my tune real fast. My parents both liked their steak well done. I never really cared for steak all that much until like 10th grade summer camp. They made steak. But it was medium rare and it was so juicy and delicious I couldn't believe it was the same thing. Turns out I like my steak almost raw. I dislike tomatoes. It's a texture thing. They're squishy. I hate tomatoes. But I like tomato soup. 
ketchup, and pasta sauce. I guess I just hate uncooked tomatoes. Same. Every form of tomato I'm good with aside from raw. My wife and I ordered from Mod Pizza. And she got raw sliced tomatoes on top. I couldn't help but look over in disgust. Although I do like cherry tomatoes raw. Me too. For some reason I can't get past the chewy but crunchy texture of certain foods. Like cooked onions or peppers. And same for tomatoes. The taste is fine but the texture makes me feel repulsed when I bite down into it. Not really popular in my state but it is in some parts where my fiancé is from. He's from the south so every time we visit his family the first thing he does is find a small gas station and buys a kulikal. A pickle either whole, sliced in half, or in chips soaked in cool aid till it changes color. Blue raspberry and fruit punch are his fav. I never like pickles to begin with but soaking them in cool aid is so much worse. Strong vinegar taste with so much sugar. Edit. Wow was not expecting so many likes and how other states besides the south has this. Realized I am marrying into a weird family with weird food cravings. If and when pregnancy happens I know I'll be craving me some nasty cool aid pickles and peanuts in Coca-Cola. What? In the ever-loving FK. I want to know where this person is from so I can never ever FG go within 500 miles of there. According to Urban Dictionary. It's from the Mississippi Delta. I ate way too much cake and frosting growing up that it is now gross. Kids are more sensitive to sugar than adults. Generally speaking. So it probably did taste better as a kid because the sweet was overpowering the flavor of the rest of the frosting. I'm the same way. I like sweet things. But. Nothing. Like when I was a kid or teenager. Given a choice. I prefer savory or salty treats to sweet. Same. Used to eat tubes of frosting and raw cookie dough as a kid. Effectively killing my sweet tooth early on. I was that kid. The only problem now is that I still love frosting. I make a point to stay away from it. Reading through the comments. They all sound delicious. I think I'm a fatty. I think a lot of people not liking a particular food just comes down to preparation. Most food can be pretty good if made well or to the person's tastes. Except cilantro. That's just genetic and you can't get rid of the soapy taste. I'm so glad I don't have the problems because I adore cilantro. I get the soapy taste. But I still like cilantro. Fondant. It's like flavorless gum that you can swallow. I don't think anyone actually liked the taste of fondant. I know a guy who loves fondant. He will buy an entire specialty cake just to eat the fondant off of it and nothing else. You have to distance yourself from this man. B.Y. Mary's are everything I don't want in a drink, spicy, overly acidic, and salty. They also usually have celery in them, which I hate. Not to mention they're basically heartburn in a glass. Agreed. I hot a ABY Mary. Especially now that places serve them like their AFN meal. No I do not want onion rings. Olives. Or a slider hanging off the side of my drink. WTF. A restaurant near me shoves several slices of bacon. A whole slice of tomato and a whole leaf of lettuce into their B.Y. Mary before just shoving a freaking grilled cheese on top of the glass. It's already disgusting. Why would I want vodka in my tomato soup? And now you want to just cram my lunch into it? It's everything I love. I'll drink a B.Y. Mary any time of the day. Whoever thinks they are for just mornings has it all wrong. Hard shell taco. How do you not end up in pain? How do you eat it and remain dignified? How is stuffing not spilling? I really didn't like tacos as a kid but turns out. It was that I didn't like American tacos. Mexican tacos. Using soft corn tortillas. Lingua or carne asada. Onions and cilantro are pretty good though. When I was younger I was scarfing down hard shell tacos and one got lodged in my throat. I full on choked for a good 6 to 7 seconds. I was able to wash it down thankfully but fk man that st almost killed me. 
you've got to put a tortilla underneath to catch everything that spills. Then when you're finished you have a bonus soft taco. Blue cheese. I can't bring myself to eat anything with highly visible mold on it. That and it tastes like potting soil smells to me. I like blue cheese. But, now that I think about it, it kind of, does, taste like potting soil smells. Blue cheese has mold in it. Comma. You say. Oh man I've never heard the dramatic reading. Wonderful. Any water that has ST in it. No cucumbers. No strawberries. No lime. Just plain ice water please. I have been scrolling and just reading the first sentences. Had to read the rest of yours to understand what shit meant. Yeah I was thinking, ah yes. I too hate cholera and dysentery. Quote. Hepatitis A. Checking in. Hey. Op. What the fk do you actually eat? You agree with every other post that someone makes. So far you hate. Grits. Okra. Pizza. Barbecue. Tomatoes. Avocado. Cilantro. Lobster. Hot dogs. Meatloaf. Op only likes his tendies. They def order chicken tenders and fries everywhere. That was my youngest son's go-to for many years. He was a connoisseur of tenders and fries. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.